You nervously check your oxygen again as you descend deeper into the inky depths. Your years of research have proven true, and ahead of you lies the skeletal husk of the ship, the Santino Margarita. You and your partner Felix find a hole in the hull. You weave through the rotten timbers until... What's that? Caught in your headlamp. It's gold. The legends were true. Felix rushes ahead and gathers up handfuls of gold. In his recklessness, he knocks a pillar. Oh no! The ship is coming down on top of you. Has this all been for naught? Will this place become your tomb? Or are you on a mystery quest? Welcome back to Morkborg, the Goblin Grinder. Last time on Mystery Quest. After torturing a goblin, our heroes have trekked down what they believe to be the source of the goblin scourge, a dilapidated windmill. They disguised themselves as a henchman pushing a wheelbarrow full of corpses and made their approach to that accursed place. We rejoin them as they enter the decaying building. Right, so you guys are creeping towards the, um... The little hole. In the, the little barricade. hole. A duck uh, and a rat. Duck and, and a rat. And Completely innocent. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nothing suspicious. Where no, nothing suspicious. are you currently, um, Ferg? You in are... In the middle of the, the room, holding the thingy, just shouting over the barricade, like... Okay, great. So you what, got... you've just come just in through the door yeah. with the... I got the bodies. Um, okay, right. I'm going to say... I think it's fair to say about probably... 58 seconds have passed since you've gone in here. And they've um, scab- scampered off, haven't they? So you guys are kind of over by the uh, right, the little entranceway. <laughs> now you know. Um, uh, you are you are both at the the little the little passage, oh. Colin the Duck mm-hmm. and uh Bungus. Can I be riding the duck? Yeah, can I be holding on to his like neck? <laughs> Oh, that's how I like it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. You managed to fashion like a little, like a bit Harness. and are uh, riding the duck. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah. You, um, uh, you st- actually, you still have burnt feet. We've not had Do this I? come up. Uh, that's burnt? right. From oh, the yeah. very beginning, oh, the right. duck had burnt feet. You burned your feet. You did. Uh, which <laughs> it just means that it's a bit more ouchy when you walk. It's unpleasant. Uh, I- don't remember this. I do. That was when wrong. did it happen? It was like I, at think, the, I think it was at the beginning. Right? Yeah, the duck was we were introduced in the oven. with burnt feet. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The, it was yeah. in the description of your previous character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was I have a pe- talking duck with burnt feet or oh, something. Oh, right. I guess. I mean, shall I add this to my description? You has burnt feet. That was is rich law. Okay. Anyway, not to uh, distract too much. Uh, you guys go around the corner. Um, 59 seconds have passed. Oh. You look ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, you see two goblins. Uh, one of them is currently has the, just the biggest grin in the world on his face. <laughs> he has his fingers in his ears. Mm-hmm. The other one is holding like a stick that is on fire. Mm-hmm. And between them, you can see a very large cannon pointing at the door and you see the fuse disappear inside. You have one second. I fly out of the way with her on me. Okay. Oh, wait, what are you? We got one second. I think that's it. No, they're pointing at us. Duh. Why don't? Well, what can we do? Duh. If we warn you, what, what are you gonna do? Why don't you flap your wings? Duh. And the wind duh, duh, will blow out the <laughs> fire. Farewell, my friend. <laughs> Maybe. One second. We're not even gonna reach them in one second. One second isn't a lot. Are you giving us just one we, second? You can have one second to. Could we you can s- shout something. You, you can, can shout. Run. You can. You can Move. dodge. You can do. <laughs> I, Wait, I, you can shout out duck, and then they just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we you're know right. you oh, are. It's like a Pokemon. It's saying yeah, its own he's, name. He's duck, a, duck. He is a duck. <laughs> so I come, duck, duck. Come out of the hole. I've got a fucking rat riding me. <laughs> I open my beak and I go duck. <laughs> I duck. You duck. Duck behind the barrel. <laughs> just uh, the the <laughs> car. I go prone behind the wheelbarrow. I go prone. <laughs> 
But I think the wheel barrel, wheel barrel. <laughs> Two Belsom's not the smartest in the world. <laughs> oh, so you I think that what I'm going to do is me and Jimmy three... John are going to flip yeah. the wheelbarrow so we're like under it. Okay. <laughs> to try and use it as like some sort of cover or protection. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> okay, well. So like, you know, the bathtub, it's like Indiana Jones getting in the fridge. Uh, <laughs> it's like we're going to flip the wheelbarrow. Fate of the Sade. Fat over. <laughs> Can't I dunk in a wheelbarrow. You, uh, it's the best we can do. Yeah, this is not a great spot for no. you guys to be stood in, um, in mm -hmm. front of the cannon. It's not uh, their fucking fault, Tom. It's your fault <laughs> as a DM. It's... You're the one that put the cannon there. No, I'm not. The, the cannon did. is in the uh, book. Oh, oh my God. Oh. The cannon I is apologize. in the book. Simon, oh. the DM is merely the facilitator I'm of fate. the story weaver. <laughs> facilitate my ass. <laughs> <laughs> It's our stupid decisions not to A giant to stand ass here. appears in the sky. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the goblins were all going, fire, <laughs> fire, and we went, cool. <laughs> I thought they were just really into fire. Yeah, maybe. They, they are. Um, mm. Boom. <laughs> um, the world explodes around you. Um, the entire barricade explodes outwards. Um, it takes out a portion of the doorway. This is a gig gigantic cannonball that has fired straight ahead. It's I'm under a wheelbarrow. It's really, really bad. Um, you can roll me some kind of amazing dodge roll to I'm see how well this is working. on the ground, if that helps. It's not like it's going to hit both of them, though, is it? No. Uh, so, I am lucky. Natural 20. Natural <laughs> 20. Oh, Literally, the, the HR symbol right on there. Nat Duke Belsom survives. That is, that Natural is 20, baby. I have an 11. I have plus two in agility. However, you get minus two. I get minus two in agility. Okay. You got any omen left? Uh, no. no. Oh, just right. straight up well, 11. Well, we'll roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somehow, Duke Belsom has... Managed the cannibal goes flip. over the wheelbarrows. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> well... I guess it explodes, right? Well, actually, I think it's going to be terrible for you because you flip the wheelbarrow over and the cannibal does hit the wheelbarrow. Mm. It vaporizes. It also just turns the, the naked corpse of the lady into mist. But now you are lying there just with Jingly John's face <laughs> inches away from you. Hello, Jim Balsam. I'm Jingly John. <laughs> This is my hiding from a cannonball song. <laughs> Very good. Uh, as you guys are covered in gore, um, and Ferg, you I are going to take D100 damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell me how much you took. 52. Oh, 52 damage. Oh, fuck. Bam, bam, the monkeys bam, are dead as well, right? No. The monkeys were hit as well. No. Mm -hmm. Not we'll roll it. How much damage oh. do we to the monkeys take? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, the and you got to roll four D one hundred to see how the monkeys. If he rolls a one, one of these monkeys might survive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right, I'll, mark it, one I'll, mark it down as, I'll mark it down as they die. The first monkey has taken sixty eight damage. Boar is dead. Oh, the next monkey is forty three damage. Schmidt is dead. The next monkey is ninety three damage. <laughs> really? is dead. And the last monkey. <laughs> Oh, only 10. Oh, oh, see, Pepper's nearly. Dead. Only 10 oh, damage. Pepper oh, is dead. Uh, they have all exploded. I don't even need to roll on my phone. Me and chart. my monkeys have perished. Oh, dude. Um, absolutely mm -hmm. vaporized by this cannonball. Uh, the last thing I see is just <laughs> as the <laughs> cannon hits me. <laughs> <laughs> and just take a cannonball to the chest and... Mm -hmm. You bye are... bye, Ferg. Aww. And you're the Ferg one that delicious. tried to dodge out of the way. He's the idiot that just <laughs> flips the wheel the barrow. Barrow. Hey, look, You got a natural so twenty. Lucky. If it was anything else, I'd I would dead. have had yeah. you take D one hundred damage. Yeah. <laughs> you are so lucky. <laughs> Literally, and because it, the first roll was an eight, but because I have this lucky feet uh, thing, mm -hmm. I, I don't uh, get I omens, but I roll twice and always take mm -hmm. the highest, or unless it's a natural one. So to get that on the second that roll as well, so bye bye, it's, it's very fitting for the character that he yeah. just locks his way through this. That's sort of what's perfect for the story. Uh, so, 
I can give you another backup Randomly character, selected. Which we will find you very soon. Don't worry. <laughs> It'd be like left okay. It's like tied oh, yeah, up in, in, a, in a room. Yeah. Help, help, yeah. help. I'm Guess not dead. Guess we take sheet. <laughs> uh, would you like another fang deserter or do you like something different? Um, I've got all kinds of things. You pick whatever you think is fun. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to take the other fang deserter out and then... I'll just let you lucky dip out of out of Ooh. all of these. Pick a card, any card. Okay. I like the look of this one here. Cool. Okay, right. You can just take some time to read that. Janky Brangus. Uh, we'll introduce you <laughs> in a second, so just okay. if you just go Ooh. go for that. So, uh, right, you guys are now. Could we not have Hero Kilgore? <laughs> Bring back Kilgore. Kilgore? You killed Kilgore. We did kill Kilgore. You burned Kilgore, Kilgore to death. Yeah. Sure. I think well, the, the reason I'm breathing my last breath, ah, I'm dying, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dying, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, my one weakness <laughs> fire. No, please, the door is shut. Help. I'm definitely dying I'm here. Definitely dying. No. There's no chance I will return later to aid you. Yeah, man, kill Gore. You're dead. Yeah. Dude, great. More like dead Gore. So oh. so what is the so the, the cannon's blown up this barricade. I'm yeah. guessing like the debris scattered everywhere. Yeah, it's gone absolutely and everywhere. If these two flew so they got out of the um, way of the cannon. You can right? both still make me a dodge roll because the what are we dodging? Uh, We're not because even in a line of fire. The Everything debris, would have gone forward. The debris from this has shrapnels all around the room. I believe. Well, is it, is it going to hit the, the, the other the goblins, goblins in the room as well? Oh, yeah. Will it be fair? Really good as well. <laughs> yeah. Will it be fair? Yeah, I'll, I'll let it Dungeon other, master? I'll let it's it hit the other goblins. Oh, they both dodge. <laughs> you didn't even roll it. Oh, okay. Wait, let me just roll. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> First goblin did roll a 16. Um, okay. Oh, Plus agility. So and the other one rolled a 17. Both goblins dodged very well. I just need to roll a six, right? Yes. <laughs> I hell. rolled an 11 16. and I... 16, beautiful. And I have plus one agility. So that's Perfect. a 12. Okay, you like you got lucky um, as, you know, just an iron bar <laughs> flies and just impales into the wall right next to you. Mm -hmm. um, the goblins, yeah, they both... If you can get the impression that these guys are pretty good with this cannon. Do they not take any shrapnel damage? Like they both dodged. They both dodged. He rolled Fucking them. pricks. Rolled, rolled them. Little sneaky fucks. And already they are, one of them is putting an iron ball into the cannon. It's going <laughs> to take them fucking Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they are really struggling but they are just laughing and having the, the best time. The best time. They love it. Are really, really into this. I'm fucking demon yeah. ducking. Demon duck. Oh, wait, how demon many are duck. There? How There's many two. Goblins? Just two goblins, yep. though. What else are we gonna do, Lydia? <laughs> I can bite one of them. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, we can. We can. No, fight. I'm but demon no, ducking. Demon duck right, yeah, duck. Three duck. uses I'll, of the fucking. Yeah, I want to kill these demon ducks too. No. So it's just twelve or higher, right? Yes, with pre uh, plus presence. Yeah, yeah. Which is zero. Gonna roll for my twelve. Elements. Yeah, it goes off. Nice, nice. Four. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now so this I think, is okay. This is the one. How many yes. demon ducks are you summoning? <laughs> because this can make the situation <laughs> a two. whole lot worse. I prefer one. Well, roll I mean, low, roll low. So I can re-roll this with an omen as well, right? Sure. Yeah. But, I mean, I'll do roll. I no, don't do that. You should re-roll. Six is a lot of demon ducks. You should definitely re-roll. I think those demon, <laughs> those demon ducks are probably better than goblins as well. You should re-roll. You've made our life a lot harder. Oh, I've only got three omens. Well, so. we're, we're almost at oh, the end. I've got loads of omens. <laughs> <laughs> Just re-roll. <laughs> He's going to roll another six now. Media. Now that we've made this big song and dance about it, watch this. Six. So I only get to do this once, do I? or Just one re-roll. Okay. Just one re-roll. Okay. Let me just give it a nice little jingle jangle. Oh, no, heck, joke, you know joke off the dice. I'll let you roll as well. One! One! Very good. There we go. Uh, right. Combat is going to begin. Um, one, two, three. Monsters go first. Four, five, six. You go first. The monsters go first. The goblins are going first. And they are going to continue loading the cannon. I'm going to put like a clock starting. If you haven't. If they are still loading the cannon consistently they for, are still 10 alive. Rounds, <laughs> for 10 rounds, they will then be able to light it. 10 rounds? Yes. I think we're fine. We might be okay. We'll but be okay. You never never say never. <laughs> but that's that's what I'm throwing down yeah. at you. Uh, 10 rounds. All right. Okay. And they are 
not doing a great job. Nor it's a it's a really a three goblin team to uh, mm -hmm. load this cannon. Only two but, of them. Uh, one of them got scared off. Is there like a, a ladder or something that leads up? Like, what else is in this other half of the room now that we can kind of see everything? Uh, so, what you can see is um, kind of behind them is mm -hmm. a spiral sort of staircase that is going around the outside of the yeah. the walls that's going up a floor. And you can make out that there is a sort of hatch in the ground that goes down into some kind of basement okay. area. Right. Um, which is sort of just around next to the cannon. Okay. Um, so the goblins are trying to load. Fire again! That was amazing! <laughs> we blow them up! Uh, I'm gonna, sort of realizing that I'm still alive. Oh, oh, I live! Um, Jingle it on! Start your battle song! <laughs> Hello oh. everybody, it's me, Jingly John! finally Tom. get to use it! Yay. Now I'm going to do my battle song! And then I will draw forth Equinox! Oh. <laughs> Shut up, you! <laughs> Hiding again! I survived, I'll have you know! You let the jester lie on top of you. What is wrong with you? First your aunt, now him. <laughs> oh, pathetic little cum stain. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then, with tears in my eyes, I'm going to try and chop uh, one of these goblins. Yes, we're going to goblin. Uh, uh, one's fighting gonna... <laughs> with tears in my <laughs> eyes. So one has its back to you, and it's currently got some kind of ramrod, and it's pushing something okay. into the cannon. Uh, I, being the coward I am, will attack the one that is facing away from me. Nice. Um, but this is, because of my magic sword, I need a 10 or higher, and I get to reroll. That's a two on the first one. Nice. Oh no. What's that? It's a one. A one. And I always oh. have to take the one if I re if I roll them oh. on my on my lucky. Oh no. How much damage does the sword do? The sword does D6 plus one. Ooh. And I believe. <laughs> Guess who is taking D6 plus one damage? This guy. You've only got four health. Yes. <laughs> uh as you swing this sword at the goblin. <laughs> I try and plunge it into um, his back. <laughs> it Yeah, you you try to plunge it into its back. But uh, the goblin kind of ducks down to pick up something else at the <gasps> completely unintentionally, and your sword hits the barrel of the cannon, <laughs> and you can almost feel like a like the blade is kind of helping with this, but the sword has been <laughs> deflected back into into your face. Would you Ooh. like me to roll my own damage? I would love you to roll your own damage. That sounds amazing. Two. Oh, no, right. Two, Two damage. points of damage. It was one plus one. <laughs> So I am still alive. Pathetic oh, boy. I took two damage. Um, ah! uh, you have successfully stabbed yourself. Ow. What's that, man? An ear chop off? Uh, Nose? Yeah, probably, oh, like a big scar down the face. Like, ooh. Yeah, you're now bleeding. That just makes you look like hotter. A badass. Heavily from the face. <laughs> no, but this is like an uncool scar. Uh, yeah. It, oh, it right. hit you. It looks like you've tried to do like the Joker <laughs> scars. Oh. It's all like wonky at one yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. know how I got these scars. <laughs> you're beautiful. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, me down there. <laughs> talking ancestral right. sword attacks you. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, good, okay, good. rest of the group, what are you doing? Demon Duck. Oh, Demon, Demon Duck. Okay. Duck. Demon Duck wants to attack. Demon Duck. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> early talk, That's I the guess. demon sound. Okay. Um, I don't know what the stats are for Demon Duck or, or how much damage it does, to be honest. Do they not say somewhere on there? Uh, no, it just says it attacks with um, Unholy Fury. Ooh. Um, Sounds great. Okay, well, they're hitting on a 12 and they will be dealing uh, <gasps> D6 damage. You don't want to know. Five. The Demon Duck, it misses. What? It's just pecking at the goblins. Mm -hmm. It's just... Yeah, it's just pecking at its shoe or something. Okay, It got great. confused. It doesn't like the uh, look of the shoes. Sure. Okay, and um, what would you like to do? Oh! You got two ducks. I can, no, no, I'm a duck. Oh, you're, you're a, a duck. duck. You are a duck. Um, I, I guess I'll go for my attack, which is, I need 14 or more, right? Five again. Five again. Why don't I just go fuck myself? You peck at the goblins <laughs> and nothing is happening. 
You're distracting them though. They are struggling Ooh. to load the cannon. Now it'll take don't them eleven <laughs> rounds. <laughs> don't forget, everybody, you have a plus two to your attacks and to your defense. Oh, because that's very of, true. That's Jingly true. John. Yeah. Jingly ah. John. Two rounds. He is. It wouldn't have made. Yeah, same. It didn't make any difference. He is me. just capering up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> and just being the worst, just the worst person ever. Uh, okay. Huh. Ra- oh, sorry, you're dead. Bungus. Um, mm-hmm. What are you Bungus. up to, Bungus? Do you want to bite a gobbo? I am going to uh, use my bite. So it says your bite D4 mm-hmm. carries disease. Victims test DR14. Presence or attack. Presence or attack their closest ally until either is dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you what? hit them and they are infected, Tom rolls if they're infected and then they sound like they're Then they mad. will Kill go into buddy. a rage and they will attack their nice. friends. Nice. Okay. Is... So the rage virus. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, all right. Later. I'm going to go take a bite out of that boy. Okay. Um, yeah, bite me a goblin. So you would normally be trying to roll a 12 on your d20. Mm-hmm. Plus your strength if you have any. Plus uh, no strength. No. Any but, strength but and plus two from Jingly John. Two the from two. Jingly, but I just need to get above a four. No, no, no. You're trying to roll, oh, 12. Uh, twelve. Twelve. So you need a ten or higher. <sighs> that's a two. That's a two. Uh, so okay. that's bad. You do not hit the goblin. Mm-mm. Could have been a one. Could have been a one. Could have been. Could have been a one. Could've Bite yourself. Yeah. Uh, you try to bite it, but um, it is currently being attacked by ducks, and it's pretty hard to get a get a good angle it's on that. Capering. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the one goblin I think is going to try and attack your demon duck, um, because that is kind of just that was a fucking awful round for us. That was <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, good. I literally could have died. I could have literally just Fuck chopped my own head off. You guys came out of it worse than you went yeah. in. Do do the demon ducks get to high dodge as well, or sure? Yep, they get sure. plus two. Yeah. Plus two on this one, okay. Yeah, so they roll. just need um, a four or higher. Yep. Now roll a one. Four. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Just about. Nice. <laughs> okay. There now if go. Jingly John wasn't there. Yeah, that, would that duck would have been hit. Jingly John saved that duck. Thank you, so, Jingly John. Uh, yeah, that happens. And the other goblin is going to continue to try and load the cannon. Yeah. Nine turns, and then this thing might be able to fire. Nine, nine turns. I don't know if you guys can head it in nine turns. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, we'll kill I, we, ourselves they, first. I, yeah, <laughs> quite honestly. Jesus. Um, uh, so it's back to you. Back to you. All right, mm-hmm. I'm going to take another swing with my blade of the ancestors. You listen here, you filthy fucking wretched mm, blade. Kill this goblin. Pathetic boy. I'll be the end of you. Five or fourteen. Hey. Uh, which will hit because uh, I need to hit ten or higher. So ten to sixteen. Uh, so this goblin is going to take. Four points of damage. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this goblin. I'm a brave warrior. I'm a strong boy, like Auntie told me. <laughs> you, oh God, yeah, you were a strong oh boy for Auntie. Uh, you stab him and notice that this <laughs> like goblin, <a> stallion. <laughs> this goblin has a mouthful of beetles. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of fall onto the ground. Uh, oh, he doesn't just have a mouthful no, of beetles. No, he just coughs up right. a load of beetles <laughs> um, as you stab this. Poor yeah, goblin. or like maybe like chop. Chop him. Yeah. You can put a big gash <gasps> in the goblin as it's dealing with the ducks mm. and a rat is trying to bite it. glimmering, sort of glittering magic sword and I'm just like... <laughs> flailing around. Yeah. Okay, duck duck pack. Duck pack! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, do you want to make some duck attacks? Do you want to do a demon duck? Do you want to do a peck? Yes. To both. Um, Plus two. Right. Plus yes. two. Yes. So... Fuck, I don't even know what it is. 12. Because you've got 12. a minus 2 yeah, and yeah, a plus yeah, 2. Okay. So you need a 12 right. or higher. 13. 13. Bam. Demon Duck successfully hits. Great. Hit me with a Gobbo. D6 damage. The slashed one. Beetle. Beetle mouth. Gobbo. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hit, hit him when he's down. Mouth. Six. Nice. Oh my god. Okay. Is that right. An a what? Is that an eye? Did they get an eye? No, I'm the eye. Oh, one. okay. Yeah, Demon Duck system. Uh, the Demon Duck kind of flies above the goblin mm. and begins like muttering something um, and a black hole begins to open up beneath the goblin um, <gasps> hands reaching out bathed in fire and wow. drag the goblin screaming uh, it tries crawling on his fingernails breaking off as it's dragged down into this pit and the hole closes oh up the, the, the goblin hell. the goblin is dead I was going to say the well, or worse. <laughs> also works yes 
Anak Sunobun. You have slain the goblin. But there is still one who is loading a cannon. Pecky, Pecky, fire, fire, Peck time. So again, twelve. This one covered in pimples. This goblin, big pussy pimples. Pussy pimpler. Yeah. When you did your little noise, you sounded like Abe's Odyssey. You know when you press square. Three. That's a red hot miss. And um, whatever. Fungus, fungus, fungus. I guess I'm just biting. Bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Just biting, I think. Nom, nom, nom. I have another go. Come Although, once he's diseased, his mate's dead, isn't it? So. Well, I'll just see what happens. Okay. I'll give it another go. Um, plus two. Plus two from Ten or Jingly. higher. Eleven. 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 Cool. Cool, thank you. Uh, it has to make a DR 14 presence check. Yeah, and you do damage as well on the bite as well, Lids, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. D4. Yeah, roll me the pyramid. The pyramid. Triangle. I go give it a four. Four <gasps> damage? Mm. Oh, gross. You do get a mouthful of pimple juice, though. Oh, mm. Okay. Uh, you know. He's eating pussy. <laughs> That's oh. not the one. What is wrong Ooh, with you? It actually passes its test. That was an 18. Too oh. diseased already. Um, diseased. Yeah, the, diseased. the diseases fight back oh. against. So I just got There's a, a war of going on in his bloodstream. <laughs> yeah, you did bite off, you know, Some of like pimples. half its foot. Oh, okay. Um, so oh he's, pretty, he's pretty upset. Did but, he take any damage? Yeah. Took, okay, good. Yeah, a lot. Oh, big he's limping. Mouth on he yeah. limping. Yeah. He limping. Um, mm. Okay. The goblin is going to check its morale. Um, this goblin ain't happy. And Ooh. Uh, it just drops to its knees. Please don't kill me. Please, I surrender, please. As it drops to its knees, <clears throat> like all the pimples on its knees pop oh, and <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Please, I surrender. Can I just chop its head off? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So don't, yeah, I don't even need to roll on that. Oh. Ah. Ah, disgusting. Uh, pimple Goblin is dead. Its pimply head bounces on the floor. Splat, splat, oh. splat. Ugh. And, um, yeah, you now are stood in a room. There's a staircase. Um, the blood trail continues up the stairs from the one that had come in the door. Mm. Uh, you now have a... Uh, uh, like a hatch that leads down um, into the into the, the cellar, you can imagine, and staircase going up. Should we check below to see if there's anything useful? <laughs> I'm so hurt. What? What if there's more goblins? We can have a listen. Okay. Oh, I could scurry. I could scurry. <laughs> I could scurry. I could scurry. I could scurry. Go down, down, down. I'm a good scurry. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to... Uh, you might have, like, trapped people or something. Oh, I'll, I'll slip in through one of those here cracks. Yeah, I'll have a listen at the trap door. So yeah. I'll slip down through a crack. Uh, okay, yeah, you go down into a basement. Um, there's a lot of, like, rotting grain down here mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't look super healthy. Mm -hmm. And you can see the dead body of an old man that looks brutally disfigured. Um, that's just, like, lying slumped in... A corner down there, and there is the uh, tied up person who seems to be thrashing around a little bit. Ah, mm. oh, fuck him, just leave him down there. <laughs> he gives a shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Um. Come on, uh, help me down here. <laughs> Bill's here. Bill's here. <laughs> uh, right, I think I'm going to scurry over and chew through the rope bindings. Nice. Uh, okay, so oh, like Ravs, would hero. you like to introduce your new character? Sure. Who you, are you and what do you do? You guys are looking at Arvo, who's like a man with like what, pink, like, uh, worm tongue from Lord of the Rings, like long, Ugh. greasy, wet, black hair. My I've got Lord. like cracked, long black nails, some of which almost look like they're falling off. Yeah. Gross. Um, I'm very sullen in my face, look like, just miserable. I'm crying. Oh, um, nice. I'm a esoteric hermit. Um, I, I'm a speaker of truths. Twice a day, I can use my wisdom or whatever to bring clarity and give you a Plus four, uh, make your challenges easier by four. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. I'm just wearing some like some wet, horrible clothes. And yeah, I'm just, just crying. 
It's crying just down crying. Here. Mm-hmm. You got like you got like a sword and shit. I got some I got some swords and stuff, but yeah. okay, yeah. just crying. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So you have been um, held here mm-hmm. and taunted and threatened, being told that you're going to be thrown into the the goblin grinder. Mm-hmm. Um, and from what you know, the uh, the sort of science guy, um, he comes Bill down Nye. here. Uh, Bill <laughs> Nye comes down here, <laughs> and uh, regularly he just like just beats the shit out of this other corpse that's in the room mm-hmm. um, and then leaves and taunts you. And he's been keeping you for like a live specimen for his experiments. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys, um, do you want to crack open that hatch and have a little look? Well, sort uh, of like once, uh, once we've had like Bungus go down there, I'll sort of crack it and be like, Bungus, is this all good? It's fine. There's a cr- there's a crying baby down here. Big cry baby man. <laughs> I know I know what it's like to being a cry- crying baby man. <laughs> um, so I'll open it up, um, and then uh, yeah, make my way down there, and maybe like help this. Be like, hello, are you a goblin? We'll kill you if you're a goblin. I will be soon, sir. You are you infected? With the goblin curse. Uh, roll a dice. What? Oh. We wanted to kill him straight oh. away. He was infected. Eighteen. 18. Nah, oh. you're probably fine. Oh my god, probably we almost had to murder you Don't immediately. Don't think so, sir. Yeah, you were bitten by a goblin, but you managed to wring its neck. He bit me, but I, I, I killed him with me. With me. Uh, all right, all right. Well, we're, we're, go, we're going to release you. Uh, your saviour, Duke Belsom Third, is here. Are you another <laughs> one of his tricks? Uh, no, no. I'll cut, like, take your bag off your head. Scientist Pickle. Scientist Pickle. Pickle. Is that the madman who's created this machine? He taunts me, he does. He calls me all sort of mean names. <laughs> well, let me introduce my friends. This is Colin the Duck. Hello. And then this is Bungus the Rat. Howdy! <laughs> <laughs> you've got to be another one of his tricks. It can't be. It can't be, no. What, are you telling me you've never met a talking duck before, man? Oh, yes, and this is my jester, Jingly John. <laughs> Hello! And it's then, me, Jingly John. And this is a sword oh. that hates me. <laughs> oh, another pleb to join you. Don't worry, you'll drive him away as well, like you did all the others. <laughs> you pathetic whelp. <laughs> <I'll cheat> it. <laughs> is it. Is it worth... Jingly John maybe singing a, a song to make our, our new friend a bit happier. Yes, you can do your cheering up song, Jingly John. Hello, sad man, it's me, Jingly John. Let me sing my cheering up song. I feel a little bit better, actually. Ooh. That was, that was quite One nice. of the rare few that enjoys Jingly John. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, you know he's, he's messed mad. up there. He's mad. He's at I a just look at him like, he's point. lost it. Yeah, he's lost it. Gone. Lost his mind. <laughs> Well, uh, friend, what was what, your name? Arvel, sir. Arvel. 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 My name's yeah, Arvel. Pleb tongue. Arvel. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, we're going. To, we're, we're here to put an end to this this madness, this, this debauched goblin madness. I just start pecking my nose with a really long finger. Oh, like God. there's like nice. blood coming out of my nose. Oh, oh, so oh God. please. Do they have to join um, our group? Are, are you good? Are you, I, I see you have a blade. Are you any good in a fight, man? I, I don't really like it, sir, but I, I've, I've got to get out of here. He's a man up. Stop picking your nose and pick up that sword, man. <laughs> oh, inspiring speech. Inspiring. I'm inspired. Yeah, a bit like Duke Belsom yes. sheds a tear. <laughs> uh, St. Crispin's Day. <laughs> he wasn't speaking to me, but yet he speaks to me. <laughs> I will stress to all of you mm. uh, that you're pretty sure they would have heard the cannon fire in town. Right. So they definitely would have heard it in other parts of the... They'll be waiting for us. In other parts of the windmill. It's fine, we'll just send the rat first. <laughs> no, no, She's no. Colin. Dispose... Dependable? What? <laughs> dependable? <laughs> I'm just going to sort of, like, gesture away from Arvel. He said he's not very much use in a fight, but he is probably a good meat shield. We could use him mm. as bait. Cannon fodder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a... Rest in peace, um, oh, Ferg. Oh, Ferg. F soon chat. Die like um, a bitch. All right, no. <laughs> Colin is right. We need to. We need to pull, pull ourselves together. They're waiting for us upstairs. But if we can end this this scientist pickle, we can end this madness and prove ourselves. 
Twanti and all the others. <laughs> it's a real man. Do I okay. have to? Yes. <laughs> By the order of the king. <laughs> you do have Ooh. some kind of royal seal, don't you? Yes. I show you my royal seal, which is not a euphemism. <laughs> oh, no. My goodness. Uh, so, what is your guy's plan? Um, you're just in this basement. There is this kind of like heavily beaten corpse. So the cannon that they were loading, mm. they had other cannonballs. Yeah, there were... Uh, is there any like stores of gunpowder? Two more cannonballs. And yeah, there is some kind of packets with some, some kind of powder in. And one had like an uh, ignition stick. Like yeah. A, yeah. If they might be waiting for us yeah. upstairs, one of us opens the hatch, maybe our new friend... And you can fire the cannon mm. through the open hatch. Oh, can we? I mean, the cannon. Can we move the cannon? Like, yeah, it's got we? yeah, it's got wheels. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's like a that. comedy, comedy cannon. Yeah, comedy. <laughs> like an like, classic like, an act, comedy cannon. Yeah, yeah, like real short and stubby. Yeah, um, on uh, like you know some wooden wooden yeah. wheels. Nice, nice. Yes, let's do that. Let's get it all ready, and then we'll open it, and then we'll fire the cannon up. You could open the hatch, boy. Uh, so it isn't really a hatch that goes up; it's just a, a staircase, staircase uh, okay. that goes up. So you could just see straight Ooh. up there. Yeah, we could just aim through the ceiling. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> wait! Can we point the cannon? You up? can do whatever you want, baby. You randomly... can take some rope and we'll, <laughs> we'll force the cannon up on an angle and I... fire it directly up. <laughs> so I'm gonna just. Unless you want to do anything else down in this basement, I'm going to teleport you guys just to all be stood around the cannon, <laughs> pondering like, okay, so we could just point it straight up. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if we use an open an isosceles triangle, we can yeah. angle it precisely directly up wait, where wait. Colin saw the machine. Colin, co wait, what's my accent? I've forgotten. <laughs> oh my god, god. That's that's a new accent. Wait, no, wait, what am I? Oh my Bye, god, Chuck, something's going on. <laughs> oh my good. Wait, oh my good, uh, Colin, you saw. Where the big mama is and the machine, you can tell us where to point the cannon. That was on the th third story. Uh, oh. Hard to work out inside because there's no other windows. Second you would guess or third. It's third, more than one. Third or third or fourth mm. floor. It's higher up. Oh, but the cannon will go through all the floors. Oh, it's powerful. Cannon, yeah, it's pretty pretty strong. Let's just. Fucking do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who is the most capable cannon operator? I'm a wreck. It's not me. I feel like I've got this. Okay. I've got this. Auntie always told me I was a very capable. <laughs> I was, had a I'm powerful to, cannon. She had oh, a massive oh. load. Oh. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. capable. I'm, going to I'm use... capable of handling massive loads. Oh. That's the line I should have said. <laughs> I'm going to use speaker of truth, so I'm going to like put my hand on you. Like, oh, don't okay. touch me. You could do it. Oh. You could do it, oh. sir. Belief. I believe in you. Do you? Is that your truths? That's my truths. Oh, can we get Jingly John do? dancing as well? Or, um, yes. Hello, everybody. It's me, Jingly John. Twice per day, this is once. But right. what does it do, though? Uh, it lowers the difficulty of whatever his next challenge is going to be by ah. four. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, we don't want to mess this one up. We, we got a plan. Done. We buffed. You're right. Mm. If I it goes wrong, can't. it's not our fucking fault. No. Okay. We've done the best we can. Right. So tell me exactly what is going on here. <laughs> like we're going to load the cannon. Cannon is loaded. We're you can point do that. It directly up in the, the middle of the room. How pointing it directly up. Colin's told us where he yep, saw. To aim it. Yeah, his it's best going, guess. It's going up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we are gonna. I'm gonna have these guys stand back. Okay, where is everyone standing? Right against the edge of the fucking I'm, thing. Yeah, I'm going back into that hole. That little hole we crawl through. Uh, like, the, like that, the whole barricade is gone now. You can just and half of like the door frame has oh. disappeared as well. Like you can't just see the. I outside. stand outside. I just got outside then. Okay, <laughs> well, you can do. It's the first time then, I've seen Sonic. I want to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna have Jingly John stood with me, playing his cannon firing song. <laughs> this is my cannon firing song. And then with Hellfire! <laughs> He's really Hellfire. into this. Hellfire. <laughs> As he fire. dances around, uh, and then I am going to light and fire the cannon. Just straight up, okay. Straight I love, up. I love this. Come on. I'm gonna, so, what would the would it be? What would the difficulty be? I think well, I'm just down to you. You just going to roll uh, the dice. a twelve. A twelve. We're going with a twelve. All right. So it'd be four lower because the speaker's the truth. Well, mm. also, what is your intention? Is it to <laughs> hit the big? I want to hit as many of the goblins and forces as we can. I want to destroy as much of this windmill as we possibly can. Okay. Okay. The machine. Well? The machine. Straight I think going up. for the yeah. machine. Basically. Okay. The machine. We're going for the uh, machine. Okay, you're trying to shoot the machine. Yeah. I well, and do as much damage as we yeah, can I alongside think it. We'll That's, see. Yeah. The dice roll on 
what the how good a success it Let's is. Let's not forget what goes up must, must come, come down. down. Yeah, I am, gonna, I am gonna run away after firing it. I am going oh, to immediately shit. run away. Uh, I do have my lucky, so I roll twice and take the highest. Please roll one. I hope so. <laughs> a nine a or nine. Oh. an eleven. Eleven. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. With the speaker of truths, maybe because oh, it was minus yeah. four. Oh, yeah, lowers the difficulty by four. four. Nice. And Jingly nice John. And Jingly John. John. He does nothing unless he's it's just, a fight. He's oh. just helping. But I just like his song. Yeah. Oh my God, he sheds a tear. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked it, John. This is my happiness song. <laughs> oh. Uh, kaboom! Uh, I run. <laughs> there is a colossal explosion. To your surprise, not only does the cannonball go up, but the cannon Ghost. flies down through the floor right. with the recoil. We might have to deal with you um, dodging to avoid going into a hole as well. Okay, but that'll be a side side problem. Uh, the ball smashes up through crotch, 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 and out of the roof from where you guys are stood outside. You see the cannonball just take off half of the top roof uh, of the um, the building. Nice. And just sail off into the distance. <laughs> oh. It's like a wandering merchant, like, what a glorious day to sell my goods. Friends, <laughs> I survived. I escaped the flames. It's me, Kilgore. No. And Kilgore. the cannonball comes <laughs> down on his burnt charred body. His one weakness, cannonball. <laughs> his cannonballs, the only his thing only that can truly weakness. stop him. Can we roll? Can you roll to see how much damage it does to him? Um, Let's do this legit. <laughs> okay, right. Kilgore. So Kilgore would have had fifteen health. Yeah. Right. right. Um, Kilgore takes sixty-three damage. <laughs> <laughs> Missed. Oh, he's um, so dead. So oh. his giant suit of armor is still kind of stood there, but the cannibal has gone in through his head <laughs> and out through his crotch. Oh my god! Just god. Coring him like an apple. Oh my and god! I don't think Kilgore is going to be able to help you with the rest of this adventure. Oh, oh shame. Oh, okay. And uh, but what happens inside the windmill? So there is a chain reaction of things that happen. <laughs> mm. uh, can you make me a dodge roll to see can. where you are? And can Jingly John get a dodge roll yes. as well? Well, uh, I get a uh, just a straight up eleven. Uh, uh, that was my okay. highest. I think you're going to be falling down into the basement. That's fine. And then Jingly John, uh, he doesn't have lucky, so he has an eight. An eight. Jingly John falls with you. <laughs> and because he was less lucky, you can land on him. Uh oh, how much yeah. health have you got? I've got two. Uh oh. Why are you cushioned by Jingly yeah, John? Yeah, Jingly John's right? going to take that. Yeah, I think because Jing you landed on John. Sure. And the the basement is full of uh, this like rotting grain. Like I don't think oh, yeah. um, I need okay. to worry about full But I'm damage. trapped. On, like I'm under in the basement. You floor, have basically. gone down. There is a like a, a ten foot wide hole in that <laughs> Where room. This now, has and just broken it. Uh, looking up, you can see there is a sort of maybe like two foot wide hole that goes up to like a four foot wide hole in the next floor, and it just gets bigger and bigger as it goes up. <laughs> okay. Has absolutely destroyed this. Um, you are then covered in this black liquid that is pouring, oh, pouring down no. um, through <laughs> yeah. the hole um, above you. Um, falling timber is happening, and. From the outside, you can't really tell what's going on, but there's some kind of an explosion, and about two thirds of the way up this building, like one of the floors just explodes outwards in like colorful smoke and glittery particles. Something. Oh, lovely. Good. Uh, nice right. SFX. And the giant blades of the windmill have crunched <laughs> off and are now kind of rolling down the hill. <laughs> Towards the town. Towards the town. <laughs> Um, in turn, it goes down the trail and slices in half what remains of Kilgore, uh, which <laughs> oh. flops away and is definitely heading towards the, the town. Yeah. Well, we know it takes two two to make it fall, right? What? It would take two, two cannonballs. Right. So we've got to shoot it again. Oh, got, I don't what? know if we You're can. Have to shoot it again. Wait, I think I'm going to be melted. Dead? I think I'm about to be melted, dude. Oh. You have not melted. Oh. Oh. But you are covered in oil. Oh, oil. Okay. And there is oil oh. 
all over Jingly John. There's oil all over that corpse that is down there as well. And there was some kind of big container full of some, oil yeah. that does not seem to be on fire just yet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. It's okay. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> oil is now pouring down all over you. There's this magical explosion and the windmill is coming down. The windmill is collapsing. You've dealt a chain reaction of damage mm. that the what you would imagine to be like the third floor mm. of this has just disappeared and the very top has just crunched down an entire falling into floor. itself yeah oh and you can see cracks and rubble is falling away and the next floor is about to come down um this whole building is, is there any sign of the scientist or like for these guys outside i mean like i'm i'm at the bottom so this is more for like do we uh, see like the signs of the machine or the the scientist from or anything like where that? you are it's a little bit too high up yeah. um i will say you um duke belsom looking up yeah at the very very top you can see the head of like a big black goblin peering down <gasps> Half a look of surprise, half a look of terror as this windmill is coming down and just yeah. has eye contact with you. So I think knowing that the windmill is beginning to collapse, me and Jingly John are going to start trying to climb out and we're going to try and escape as best as we can. Yeah, I'm going to need some kind of uh, yeah. amazing dice roll because you or are with oil. covered yeah. in oil. This is, this building was not designed to be have internal cannibals fired. What sort of roll will I be making? Uh, I will give you... I, okay, I don't want this to be too unfair but i think instead of just a normal roll i'm gonna need a 14 because of the oil sure. rolling twice seven seven or... no ten ten can i roll for jingly john yeah you can no <laughs> six, six. Uh, six. Does jingly, so we're john, like... <laughs> jingly john can use his one omen oh sure yeah okay if he wants to yeah 19. Hey! I have an idea for this, if you'll go with it for me. I, uh, man, I am all for this. So seeing that this windmill is collapsing. It is. I, I like the idea that like Jingly John and Dubelts have managed to kind of get to that ground floor, but like too late. And then just before like it fully collapses, Dubelts and like takes Jingly John is like, and in this one heroic moment, it's like, save yourself, John! Oh. And, like, pushes him out the door. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and oh my god. As the beams and all oh. of this rubble and timbers come crashing down, Jingle I always John loved you, John! <laughs> is cast out of the building, covered in oil, and you just see Duke Belsom getting buried. Um, I think having a windmill dropped on you is probably fair to call that a D100 D100. damage. If you roll a one, then you I will live. live. Well, if I roll low enough, you can still live. Just be okay. pretty maimed. Um, yeah. I'll roll this publicly. Yeah. Uh, 74. <laughs> I will say that is lethal damage. Lethal. And Duke Belsom has been crushed to death. R.I.P. No! Duke Belsom. Burn, burn, burn. That is the destruction of the character sheet. Sad. Oh, well, <laughs> much respect. Uh, okay, the Amazing. the rest of you are stood there. <laughs> Jingly John staggers out um, a big plume of dust as the constant cascade of this building coming down takes out every single floor. Belson's dead. the The windmill is absolutely destroyed. This thing is definitely not standing. Uh, what would you care to do? Is that gi giant goblin still alive? Mm, I will say he will take 12 points of damage, maybe. I think is a fair, fair way to do it. Okay. From the rubble, you can see like the broken, the broken roof. Um, the machine that is there, it still looks kind of like, this thing doesn't look like it's a normal machine. There is arcane powers or magic involved. The glowing runes on it are glowing brightly. Um, and as you are kind of examining this, slowly some of the rubble starts to move and missing half an arm uh, with just huge splinters of wood penetrating into it, this goblin stands up. This big black goblin 
Does and music play in like a big health oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, But the it comes sack. in with significantly lower health uh, because of your. Does Jingly John get a new pilot or is it a new character? I, I was going to say, you may I have Jingly John's character? 100% sheet? see uh, the Jingly John. Uh, right, we are getting into oh, combat fuck. and uh, monsters going first. I rolled a one. Uh, so this character is just called the Bastard. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Amazing. Um, Holy shit! Which uh, this guy's actually very, very good. But when he has a lot of goblins with him, there is no way any of the goblins have survived mm -hmm. uh, yeah. this because they're generally pretty puny. Um, and he is going to going to attack. Um, we'll do this at random. Uh, one, two, three, four. I mean, yeah, sure. I don't think you have anyone else with you. Why would he attack a, a just a harmless rat and a lovely duck? <laughs> How do you think this goblin got the name The Bastard? <laughs> like, yeah. oh, animal cruelty is too bad for The Bastard. No. no. He would... I thought his parents weren't married. <laughs> oh, well, that's true. Uh, two. I'm actually a really attacks... nice guy, but my parents had me out of wedlock. <laughs> he attacks the duck. Um, roll me a dodge. dodge. Okay. dodge. You're actually pretty good at dodging. You're probably the, so the worst. See, before target. you roll, Simon. It's me, Jingly John. Oh, Time to you. sing my vengeance song. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you get plus two. Okay, you nice. get plus two. So you have to Don't roll a one, two, or a three. Okay. 12. Great. You, yeah, the, this this goblin, he looks furious. Um, one of its eyes is hanging out of its head uh, and it's just wielding. For just all a, we know, that's just <laughs> what he looks like, though. Yeah, it's true. These goblins are a bit like, uh, a bit bit ropey most of the time. Uh, okay. Who wants to try and attack? The bastard. People that are actually good at fighting should it's, probably attack first. Your... Demon duck again? Yeah, do what you want. Sure. Demon duck. Team oh, that's a risk, though. One, one enemy. enemy. Well, I mean, I can I don't always do a re-roll. I, I still want two omens as well. I mean, this is Just the final boss. Uh, yeah, one is dangling. <laughs> but you can peck his other one. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, roll me a thing. Okay, so I need a, a 14 to hit, which is not... Okay. Great. You get plus two? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's one sure still. Oh, you, you flap and you peck, but no, no peck is that good. Uh, Bungus. Uh, Bungus is going in for the bite. The Bungus bite. Uh, 16. 16. Austin. How much damage does that do? Uh, so I have a, a, did you do a D4? Is that right? Yes. A two. One. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you bite something off this guy. Little, he ain't. Little toe. Little. He is no. not very happy. Like is like staggering. Does he talk or yell or anything? Ah, you fucking cunts! <laughs> oh my god! Like, he's, oh he's a bad dude. He's a bastard. He's a bad. He's a bad dude. Oh. He's like that's not. A, he's not a good guy. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> my parents were never married. <laughs> uh, yeah, just bad, bad dude. Uh, I'll pull out my nine violet signs on not the storm unclean scroll. What? What? I'm sorry? What okay, yeah, that? I know what that does. <laughs> That's a magic scroll. Is that um, D, D4 lightning bolts? D2 lightning, D2 bolts, lightning bolts. D6 damage each. Yeah. So you right. cast it first. Yeah, so, yeah, so like what? Uh, so it's presence 12. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so. I don't help you with this. One. Oh, presence 12. Yeah, okay. So you need 12 or higher. Don't roll a 1. 11 plus 0. Okay, you have failed to cast. Omen times. Roll me an omen. Okay. Uh, Reroll. Uh, three. When you when you okay. fail, you take D2 damage and oh. you become dizzy for an hour. Uh, you oh, you take no. that power. You take one damage. Okay. And you can't uh, use that power again. Okay. <laughs> for a while. Uh, three. And I'm dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you try and summon lightning and just zap, zap yourself. Uh, Jingly John. Jingly John! I'm gonna try and stab this guy with my jester's like little stick with a little happy Jingly John face on it, but it's got a slightly yeah, pointy nice, end. Nice. As you as you head towards this guy, I think ah, a folly John, or something. Yeah, or some, it's a folly. I mean, it's there's like a you see like a like a twinkle in the rubble. <gasps> Could it be? 
the one real hero. <gasps> oh, I'm Jingly John. I'm going to sing my magic sword song. You can draw, what is the name of your magic blade? Equinox, I think it was called. Equinox. I shall uh, pick it from the rubble. You see, see it lying in the rubble. <laughs> that is going to be... Uh, a 10, which on Equinox is a hit. You have stabbed the bastard. How I'm, much damage do you do? I'm going to spend my last omen to deal maximum Ooh, damage with an attack. Oh, fuck. Which means hello. I deal seven points of damage. Ooh. Um, um, okay. <laughs> right, he is dead. Tell me. Describe the scene to me. He, he was killed. So, so I think, like, Jingly John, like, capers like a jester up towards him, like, sees this sword, picks it up, like, ha ha! And then just goes up to this guy and just cuts the head off in one blow. Amazing. Oh my god, Jingly John was the hero after the all. The hero, the one true the hero. One true raises hero. the blade up. Like, the, the only one worthy of wielding me. <laughs> Jingly John, <laughs> the rightful king of. Uh, where are you from? <laughs> Sp Spayland? I'm Jingly John. I'm going to sing I Don't Know Where I'm From song. <laughs> oh god, poor Jingly John. <laughs> Uh, you have <laughs> the hero we needed. You have slain, <laughs> slain the bastard. Uh, of course it was. We all start bowing. <laughs> the townsfolk come out and they're all cheering. <laughs> it's like the Ewoks. Song yeah, plays. they go along. <laughs> they oh put, God. yeah, they put a medal on Jingly John. Yeah, everyone gets a medal except Colin. Yeah, everyone gets a medal <laughs> apart from the duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where Gland does not put a medal on you. They, this one, I'll get it a few yeah. adventures yeah, later. many adventures later. Yeah. And yeah, you have, as the bastard dies, the whirring of the goblin grinder machine slows down and the light goes out on it. Powered by some ritual bond. Evil, evil magics. Noise. Oh and God, you have completed the yeah. Goblin Grinder, the adventure. Hell yeah. Very well played, everybody. We only had a few character deaths, which seems pretty... One, two, three, four. <laughs> only four I, I character deaths. Yeah. You're yeah. the one, yeah. one character that survived. Bungus, Bungus, Bungus the boy who Managed to survive. <laughs> disgusting lactating rat woman. Yeah. Uh, amazing. <laughs> wow. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me, guys. You've been amazing. This has been a ton of fun. It's been super fun. It's been uh, great. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thanks, Thanks for having us, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 And bam, that concludes our adventure in Morkborg, the Goblin Grinder. If you want to know more about this adventure, uh, members right now can watch a video where we have a post-game chat where we answer some of the players' questions and talk about how the game could have gone. Uh, so, if you want to help support us, and you want to see some extra stuff, click on the button right now. I really hope that you are still enjoying this. Uh, please let us know what you think. Leave a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, all of that good stuff. Uh, stay tuned. Next week we'll be playing something completely different. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.